Right, finally back onto the pallet wood floor. Um, I had to have a break and <coughs> to get everything ready upstairs, and this is why. This is what's kept me away from the floor, uh, is this to get this up and running so we can get rid of the bath and then carry on with the floor. And now we're back to doing this. Um, I've done it into roughly the sizes, all the same. Thicknesses, we're going to put them through the thicknesser and then uh, and see what happens. I think it's going to take a bit of time. Come no on. My special safety device. <laughs> it's going to look good, isn't it? Floor inspectors in. Um, I had to uh, build the box in for the toilet and the basin in kit form, ready for the swap over. But it's the only toilet we've got now, so sent the wife out for the day and changed over all the plumbing before she got back again. Now the um, the next stage is I put a load of insulation, rock wood insulation, underneath the the ply and there was no insulation in the floor at all. Um, then the next stage is the WBP ply. I've got some Far Eastern WBP. Uh, I'm not sure there's another different name for it um, because it's better quality. And then, then it's time to glue down on top of that. And the glue come this morning. It's a <coughs> something called a Bonner glue R850, and it's a rubberized glue. You'll see that when I start putting it down. Um, I got that from a company called the Bamboo Flooring Company, uh, and they were good. So, anyway, we'll start. Right, I've struck a line. You can start anywhere, really. I mean, but for me, I've struck a line uh, just off the centre because um, I didn't want to fiddly cut around the toilet, so. It's, I've cut down there so you cut a little bit out so you've got a little bit more to cut out. Um, but you can start anywhere you like centre and then work away and then you've got the joints or well, any cuts right on the edge where you're not going to notice it. Um, but all these are going to be different sizes. I've got one lot of wide boards, say wide, uh, like four inches or 100 mil, and then the other, all the others I've got about three times as many as the narrow ones as the wide ones. So I'm going to try and put a lot, the odd wide one in there. And then, uh, and then that's so although I kept these in the dry for as many months as I could, but they're still not seasoned. I mean, it's old pallet wood, so I'm not going to season that. It's not decent hardwood. It's not going to be a bit of joinery. So, start of that line, just work your way back outwards, and then make sure the joints are on the outside. Here we go. The first three rows I have dry fitted to make sure they cut around the toilet uh, is good and that none of the joints line up and they are all staggered and uh, don't look at the pipework under the basin. I'm a chippy, not a plumber. I pick up the rows, keeping them all together and remembering which one goes first, then mark out another line wider than the three boards parallel with a center line. This you can use as a guideline because the first thing you do is put glue all over the center line anyway and uh, won't be able to see it. So you just measure off the guideline for reference. When you're putting the boards down just make sure there's no bits underneath the bits of wood. Uh, you just can't hoover enough and uh, make sure you clean up afterwards because what you don't clean up now will be twice as bad later. Right, to make marking and cutting easier in packs, what I do is make a mark, pen mark or pencil mark on there for the bit you want to cut off. And then, say if I want to get rid of those nail holes, as long as it goes past 
that mark on that side. I know it's going to get cut off. So if I want to get rid of that knot, that knot goes that side, so I know it's going to be cut off. So when you put it onto a saw and the blade cuts there, you know that everything that side is going to be that side is going to be cut off. And uh, depending on uh, how big your blade is, is how many boards stuck in. I think I'll get five or six on mine. It's not very big. But yeah, it's just an easier way to do it. After you cut the bores to length uh, on the line, then just drop the other end onto a flat surface and then just trim off the uh, mineral amount. I laid another six rows, then pinned the last row in place just to stop uh, any movement and uh, took the pins out after the glue had dried. Well, this is it many hours later um, all glued down and left overnight to dry I used two sanders the bout sander had uh, 80 grit paper in it and the orbital sander had 120 grit paper I didn't want to ruin the camera so I took it out well that's it uh, it's all down now on the floor all I've got to do now is uh, I'm using some Liberon hard wax oil, like a clean satin finish. Um, hopefully it'll bring up all the grain in the wood. <coughs> I didn't feel, feel in between the gaps, there's little gaps, it's going to move anyway, so the pole part of it, I suppose. And then I'm going to try and roll it on, put a little mini roller with those little tight nylon rolls. And that is it. This is after two coats of the Libron oil. Uh, it's actually made for bathrooms and kitchens. Um, it's a bit difficult for you to see how nice the colours have come out uh, on YouTube. Uh, here comes the finished floor inspector and he doesn't look happy. In fact, he looks pretty pissed off about the changes that are happening in the house and the dodgy workmanship. Never mind, maybe I can uh, persuade him with uh, some food or treats. Anyway, appreciate some comments. Um, anything at all? Thanks a lot. Cheers.